Hello everyone and welcome back to Indie Gamers. This is the sixth part of the third episode. Now let's begin. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Crappy wife out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. Is Frank going to deal online now? Oh, let's check the photo. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Oh, here's something interesting. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Let's take the drawers. Ooh, Frank's stash. No more secrets. Okay, let's check what we can find out to open that vent. Oh, I guess the knife will be useful. How can I somebody live like it. this? Yeah, that. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Dog. <sighs> oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. as well what is there something hiding i think the doggy likes his bone more can't quite picture frank and chloe drinking beer and hanging out frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby that would be so cool to take this baby on the road with chloe I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. Let's talk to her. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the step fucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Well, she has a right to get angry, but not this much. Here is... Like a 
hands up. And he's enjoying his beans again. So. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. I think it's nobody's fault. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? Well, that was rough. You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. But Chloe is full of anger now, so she is not ready to listen. And here we are. And she is not even saying goodbye. She is looking at the picture and something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, what is happening now? Don't tell me. Something weird is happening and we are hearing something. Again. I'll have to try to 
little bit harder. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Max, tell him! Whoa, hey. 
You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hint, Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in crates. time? You mean pancakes? Yes. In France, they call them crates. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Okay, so I think I should stop here for today. We will continue in our next episode. Till then, bye-bye.